Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Lisa Cotter and today we're going through on how I blend with coloured pencils. Now this is going to be part of a beginner's guide that I'm making every so often in teaching how I use coloured pencils. Um, I was asked recently on Facebook on how I get my blends so flawless so I thought I would do a video on how I do that and we'll also look at afterwards other ways to blend with coloured pencils. Now I don't want this video to be too long so um, I'll do it as quickly as I can but in a way where anyone can understand. Now before we begin I thought we'd have a look at first off we're going to be using a wax based pencil so we're using the Artex colour pencils again and no they're not the only pencils I have but they are the ones I had out on my desk. So we are going to use the Artex colour pencils. Now these are a wax based pencil. So what a wax based pencil basically means is the binding in these colour pencils have more wax in them than oil. So all of that, this does have oil in them but it uses more wax than oil. So when we talk about your wax based pencil, this one's good for blending your, your colours together. You can't do as many layers, they won't sh stay sharp as long and they're not as good for fine detail. So the next colour pencil is an oil based pencil. Now this is a Polychromos, Fabricastel Polychromos colour pencil and this pencil is more of a layering colour pencil. So basically what an oil based pencil is, they have more oil in the binding than wax. So you may hear the term oil based and Polychromos is an oil based pencil. So these hold their tip a lot longer. They are a layering type pencil. So to get that colour, you layer. Um, you don't want to press really hard straight away. You just layer these in nice even layers to get that vibrancy out. These are great for little details like eyelashes, hair and stuff like that. But we won't be working with these today. Um, if you'd like a guide further on coloured pencils entirely, do let me know in the comments below. So I've made a little chart. Um, this is the chart I've made. If you can see all that there. And this one was actually going to be used for the Artex colour pencils review, but we never got around to it. So I've made this chart and what we're basically going to do is we're going to first off, I'm going to show you how I blend my colour pencils here. I'm going to show you layering as well as a, a sort of a gradient, but pretty much with three to four colours. Um, and then we will do the blending test with the different ways that I have to blend. Now there is some other ways that I used to use as a beginner and I will broach that subject, but right now we're just gonna get down to this one. Because as I said, I don't want the video too long. So these are the colors I'm actually using. So do tell me if this isn't, you can't see too well. So this one is the light aqua and then we've got the jade blue and we've got the ocean green. Now, so I think we're zoomed in enough there and I'll try and keep my hand out of the way. Um, so what I do is when I start, I use light even layers and I'll go up to here. And I sort of go in a bit further. So the next color actually goes into that. So the first one is just a light layer because we're just laying down color here. Now, if you can see the white there, that's the white of the paper. That's the tooth of the paper. Now I will say I am using the Nina vellum paper. Um, this is came in reams of 250 
and this is my first lot steel that I've had for nearly two years now so that's what I'm using so you'll get different results depending on what paper you use so the next color we're going to go in with the jade blue again light even layer we're not going to be doing any pressure but we want to go back into this just a little bit very lightly so even lighter than what's normal and then we go forward and as you can see i'm doing a few layers there but that will then blend into the next color and again it's just i haven't taken my pencil off the paper so now the next one is going to be the ocean green and again we're going to start about here if you can see there and again light and then you're going to have it a bit darker coming up here so the aim is we're going to blend into that last one but you might be saying how do you do that so then we're going to go in and get the light aqua again. I'm going to go another layer and blend in even further into that next one because we want to cover some of that white lines up. And then we're going to go in with the jade blue back where we were before and blend out slightly with a bit of a harder pressure that dark one there and then i'm going to use again the light aqua now depending what paper you use will be depending on what results you get so on amazon paper you have to be a lot more careful you're not going to get as many layers so the aim is just to blend that out so I'm doing harder pressure now but it's even hard pressure so this is just layering up to blend out the next color so I'll go up a bit with that one and then darker here and if that last area is not dark enough for you, what you do is you just go in and a bit heavier pressure, and just go over it slightly and then blend into the next part. So then, so pretty much what it boils down to is you use this color to blend, so the light aqua to blend out the jade blue. And then use the jade blue to blend out the ocean green. And that is how I blend out colour pencils. Because the aim isn't to add pigment. It's just to blend them out towards the end. So as we've done here, it goes across. And that's blended in. And as much of that white is off, I'm using the light aqua. And it's a lot harder pressure. But if it's not darker, you can go over again with your darker tones. And then because you've used even pressure, you haven't totally removed, broken all the tooth of the paper. So in the way I do it, it is layering in a way, as well as burnishing. But there, that's pretty um, much what I do for how I blend out coloured pencils. Now, the next way is, which is a layering coloured pencils, which is similar to what I just did. But this is how you use your oil-based pencils as well. 
um, you do it in layers. Now you could probably get more. Now again, this will depend on the paper you are using. So I don't think we need the numbers now. We'll put them aside. But if we look at here, the layer test, so basically one layer is one, two, three, four, five. So using the light aqua, I'm going to go in again and do it just a light scribbly layer. <laughs> Sorry about that, I went over a bit there. And this one we're going to do two. So the first layer and then the second layer. And then this one's going to have three layers. And this one's going to have four. And as you can see, as we go along, it's getting darker. And then last of all is five. Now, as you can see, that one is much darker. And here you've got more tooth of the paper showing. And every layer you're doing, you're actually removing the tooth of the paper. So the whiteness. But there is other ways to blend out colour pencil. So I thought we'd have a look at that. Now, the first part is pretty much what I've already done, which is very similar to this, where you burnish. So burnishing if especially if you're doing a very big area can actually be very hard on your hands so if you suffer from any type of pain in your hands i would not burnish i would layer up until you're happy but i do burnish all my images um, but mostly with a wax-based pencil i don't do this as much with an oil-based pencil um, so let's take a look at burnishing so burnishing basically um, is you're pressing on your pencil very, very hard. So that one still has two for the paper showing. So we're going to actually press it even harder. So this is breaking all that in the paper. And you will see in a minute. Now it's very dusty when you do this. And, but my pencil's still sharp. That is the one thing with our Texas pencils, they stay sharp. And this is a lot of pressure I'm actually putting on this. So that is burnishing. I'll remove the dust. Um, but that there, if you can see. Now when I zoom out, I'll show you a bit better um, but that's how to burnish. You're pressing very hard on the paper. Your aim is to remove all the white of the paper. Now, as you can see with the layering, how much white is still in that paper there. And then there's my other one there. And I wasn't burnishing with that. That is just layering and even layers. And it's still very smooth. So the next one we're going to look at is Prismacolor Blender. Now this is my blender of choice. As you can see, it's rather small. <laughs> um, now I use this especially for backgrounds if I want to do a colour pencil background. Now these are rather cheap. They're about $3, maybe 50 or less. They usually come in a pack of two. So I think they're up to $6 or $7 a two. Um, you may be able to buy them open stock, I'm not sure. But here I got, I get mine on Amazon. So basically, now when you are going to use a blender such as a blender like this, um, make sure you have enough pigment on the page. Because if you don't, it'll be a muddy mess. So for this one, we'll use the Jade Blue to be a bit different. And as you can see, it's pretty sharp still. And we're just going to add 
some pigment to the page. Now I'm not going to be bullet, um, but that's enough pigment there. And the aim is, sorry, I should have brought out my bigger ones, is to blend out that paper. So again, doing little circles um, as you do when you color in. So little tiny circles and that's blending out. So that's blends out. That's good for actually doing backgrounds. Now you can go over this and sometimes the, the color actually comes out more vibrant, but due to being a wax blender, you could get a wax buildup or wax bloom and it's not something you really want. So when you go to use a blender, this is a blender pencil. So the next one we're gonna look at is the Karen Diash blender. Now this is one I got in a pack. Now I can't find my original one. I think it's still packed away. So this is the one with the wood casing. They do come with one that is just the blender there, if you can see that. So this is just a blender. And I pretty much only use these with my Karen Dash Luminance or my um, Pablos. Um, I have not used them much with the Artex colour pencils. I don't like them at all with Prismacolors. Um, some pencils, they work, some they don't. So this one's the Karen Dash Blender. Again, you're going to add as much pigment as you can. So this is the ocean green. So we want some pigment on the paper because without the pigment, it'll go muddy. And then again, as with the actual Prismacolor, you just blend that in. Little circles to blend in. Now, you still got to press a bit hard, but as you can see, that's blending in. So that is those ways to blend in. Now for this next test, I will change the camera because I don't want the fumes too close. It'll make me cough. <laughs> I won't be a second. So for this one, we're actually gonna look at the Gamsol. So this is basically a Gamsol. This is, um, it's low odor solvent. Um, I got this from the art store in Adelaide um at clays so this works really good it doesn't smell i did want to actually try and get some um zest it blend which is made for pencils and also holbane has one as well that's made for colored pencils but getting them into australia is really difficult so i've not been able to find them over here so we're actually going to use the gamsol now, when you use Gamsol, I'll just move this out for a second. Um, make sure you're in a ventilated room regardless and you're not around pets or children and you get your little cotton bud. This one's really good. It's got a flat end and a pokey end there. And you take the lid off. Have paper towel towel handy now you can use a brush but i find the brush holds too much so blot it off um, you don't want too much on your page now when you use gamsol it will go through to the back but when it dries it should dry without um, any staining so i'll just put this aside and get my paper back so we're going to go in with that light aqua again, and I will do it a bit of a distance, I'm sorry, because um, I'm asthmatic, so I do try and keep the odour so, um, causing solvents. So even though this doesn't smell, it is still a chemical, so I try and not um, use them very often. So this actually achieves a painted look, the Gamsol does. Now... I've only used it once on a page and a handling page. That was on Amazon printed paper. 
and it gave the background uh, and I was using the Artex color pencils and it sort of gave the background that painted effect. Now, if I can find the book easily, which it's sitting right there, I will actually show you that one. But for now, we'll just test this out. So using it, you just do as with before, your little circles. And as you can see, that blends out. So I zoomed that in so you can see better, but that blends out really sort of like a painting or like watercolor. But as you can see around there, that should disappear when you dry, when it dries. But as you can see at the back here, it is still wet. So you can go over that there with color pencil to add deeper tones to it, but it will um, rip the paper if you don't allow it to dry. So allow that layer to dry and then go in and go back in your coloring. So that is some different ways to blend out your color pencils. Now there is a few more ways. I've heard of people using alcohol markers. Now I have tried that and in some things it does work, in others it doesn't. I used to use, when I was very new at colouring, baby oil, because I had that at hand with my little one. But it does leave an oil area around the actual blend. And it did stain on the back, so be very careful with that one. Um, I've heard people using Vaseline, of all things. I wouldn't do any of those. So I would keep to your blender pencil or your gamsol if you want that a sort of effect now I'll take the page back up so you can actually see what a gam so this page here was done with gamsol um, to blend out the colored pencils so it gave it sort of like a painted effect now I don't use gamsol really but if you look at that um, it blended them out really well and these were with the Artex color pencils I did this at Christmas time and if we go to the back the only um, you can see is just the alcohol marker which I used as a base so it doesn't bleed free so that is how Gamsol blends color pencils especially if you want to make it like a painted look so there you go that's all the color pencil blending tips i have for today now i hope this has been helpful to someone out there and if you liked my video press like and subscribe take care and have a lovely day